Hey guys, welcome to day two of my 12 days of Christmas. Today we have this beautiful let it snow tumbler. I just think she is stunning. First of all, this tumbler uh, on its own was beautiful. It has this really pretty cup or really pretty lid. It's got like this gold detail at the top and the matching blue and then this little like handle. It's a stunning cup as it was, but I thought I needed to add to it. This is Snowbound glitter from my Christmas collection on the bottom here. And I, it's just so pretty, like, yeah. So if you guys are interested in seeing this cup tutorial, let's get into it. Stay tuned for tomorrow for day three. So like I said, this cup is just gorgeous on its own, but of course I wanted to bling it out a little bit. I got this at Ross for $9.99, and if I see any more of this style cup, I don't care what color it is, I am buying it because it's just so pretty. So like always, taking off the lid and the stickers, And then I'm prepping with Mattify, of course. So after that was prepped and dry, I mixed up some of my Artistry Epoxy. And I'm doing the technique again where I use some of my glitter. This is Snowbound from my Christmas collection. And I just pour it right into the epoxy. There's not that much epoxy in there, so it's really mostly glitter. So you see like that kind of more chunky texture, that's what we want. So then we're just going to smooth that all along the bottom of my cup. And what I really love about this technique is it kind of just flattens the glitter and lets it kind of be a little bit more like metallic and shiny. So I did this technique on my falling leaves tumbler in my 10 days of fall series and so many of you loved it and thought it was such a cool technique and I don't know if other people have done this or it's a thing or not but uh, I've just been doing it a lot more because it just makes the glitter just look so beautiful and it's really easy too to get like that kind of ombre fade. So I did most of it at the bottom edge and then I kind of just gently swipe up and blend it out and you can see it kind of fades and gives it that kind of ombre effect. Um, you just kind of gently rub all around until you're happy with where the glitter is going. So then once that was dry, I'm doing my first layer of the epoxy. And I didn't realize you would still see the name underneath. I wish I would have spray painted a little bit on the bottom just to cover that up. But I cover it up with a decal anyways, so it's not a big deal. And I am using the multi-attacher. If you haven't seen that, we have it on our website, artistryepoxy.com. It holds bottles like this. It holds pens or makeup brushes, um, a lot of different things. So it's a really cool like attachment thing. So then I decided to, of course, add Let It Snow because it's such a snowy, pretty cup. So I cut it out in white and did an offset in silver. I just put it on the cup at the bottom, kind of on top of where the glitter was. Then 
I got these stickers and they are just so cute. I think these were from Hobby Lobby, but I just loved the little glittery snowflakes. I just, I couldn't resist getting these. I didn't know what I was gonna use them for, but this cup ended up being the perfect tumbler to put these on. And I also love how they kind of have these little gems at the top to look like they're like hanging. So I just kind of added these around the cup where I thought they would look good. And I started with the front just so I could get the front how I wanted it to look and then kind of fill in in the back. adding another layer of the artistry epoxy then one final layer to finish off this adorable little snowflake tumbler dry so I'm just removing it from the multi attacher it just has little screws on the side that hold it in place then taking off the tape I don't know what kind of tape this is I was looking for electrical tape putting back the little the little like vinyl strap handle on and the lid. And I'm obsessed with how this turned out. I just love like the powder blue and the glitter and the snowflakes. It's just so pretty and snowy. Just all the winter vibes. So then let's package this for a gift. So I have my cup. I found this such a cute candle. I love the little like kind of strap on it, like leather strap with snowflakes on the top, on the little wooden top. Then I also found this little hat and gloves set with the little like white palm on the top and it was only $9.99. So I think these just are so cute. It's all like the blue, icy, snow themed and a bag. And I also thought it would be fun to throw in some of this kind of like snow glitter stuff. And I found this really pretty tissue paper. It was actually for like a baby shower, I think it was marked for, but all the blue tones I thought would be perfect for this snowy present. There's only a couple of the series that I did in gift bags that I just didn't have time to like find something else it would fit into. Gift bags can look really cute too and I just wanted to package it a little bit nicer than just kind of throwing them in and throwing tissue paper on top. then with the candle I just kind of bunched up the tissue paper around the sides and then took some ribbon and tied it on so 
then just placing the gifts into the bag. Then of course adding more at the top to kind of stick out and just look cute. sprinkling in some of my little like glitter snow which you can't really see it on camera but in person it looked cute and then also like whenever someone's unwrapping it you'll kind of see it falling everywhere and be just like a cute little surprise so that is how I would package this as a gift thank you guys so much for watching make sure you tune in for day three tomorrow bye